हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर एंड लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टूडेज टॉपिक इज लॉस ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बायोडाइवर्सिटी बट हेयर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट लॉस ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी इस डे वी आर लूजिंग हंड्रेड ऑफ स्पीसीज एंड इट लीड्स टू लॉस ऑफ biodiversity we will take example of our own kashmir what is happening over here each day hundred of trees are cut down okay and it not only leads to loss of trees but also we are losing different species because trees are jungles they provide habitat to different animals okay birds and also microbes so destruction of habitat is one of the biggest reason of loss of biodiversity it is very unfortunate but true that each day we are losing our biological wealth of our planet okay and complete destruction or you can say disappearance another term is for this it is extinction of species it result in loss of complete genetic information okay if i will say a particular species has been extinct that means the last member of that species has been died okay there are three different types of extinctions one is natural extinction mass extinction and anthropogenic extinction firstly natural extinction when extinction is happening due to environmental conditions it is known as natural uh, extinction okay i will give you example due to volcanic eruption sometimes what is happening there is complete extinction of species so a natural cause was responsible for extinction or complete disappearance of species so this type of extinction is known as natural extinction next is mass extinction mass means a large scale okay when species they become extinct on a large scale okay that type of extinction is known as mass extinction it is very very unfortunate but again true that in 3 billion years our earth it has seen five major episodes of mass extinction of species in which we have lost our dinosaurs too okay but it is a part of evolution so and majorly these extinctions they were due to natural reasons okay that is why i will say that humans they were not responsible for the previous extinctions mass extinctions but anthropogenic extinction this is due to human activities anything what is like anthropogenic that means human related humans they are um, killing each day many species because they are destructing their habitats due to pollution or over exploitation of resources we are directly impacting um species and that is why it leads to loss of biodiversity there are four major reasons of loss of biodiversity and it is known as evil quadrant okay and these are habitat loss and fragmentation over exploitation co extinction and alien species invasion firstly i will discuss about habitat loss and fragmentation okay it is the most important cause for biodiversity loss okay already i have told you that when we are cutting down trees it leads to loss of biodiversity because we are destructing the habitats of many animals and many other species there was a time when once forest they occupied 14% of earth's land but today only 6% of land is under the area of 
forests so see how we are distracting mercilessly these habitats okay other than this we are constructing many buildings and uh, railway trails tracks factories and what is happening there is fragmentation of habitat we are converting forest into agriculture land so it will lead to destruction of habitat and in totality we are losing biodiversity besides this we are polluting environment many uh, pollutants for example heavy metals which are like lead lead pollution or mercury pollution it has lead to death of many species okay and there is also another important pollutant which is known as ddt due to the use of ddt there was immense decline in vultures and in other birds second is over exploitations humans are always dependent on nature for food and shelter but when need turns into greed it leads to over exploitation okay so what is happening due to the greed we are over exploiting the natural species and due to this many species like dodo bird and passenger pe uh, pigeon it has become extinct next is alien species invasion when we are introducing some species alien species mean a foreign species into a area it can lead to the loss of native species i will give you two three examples for example carrot grass okay it is also known as parthenium when parthenium was introduced in india okay by accident okay so what happened it was threat to other species because it replaced other species another weed it is lantana it was introduced from tropical america and what it did it also created the same problem it is uh, occurs for local species and thirdly water hyacinth it was also introduced in india from europe and what it did it actually replaced our native species so when we are introducing new species we have to take care otherwise it will become a threat to native species next and the last one is co extinction there are many obligate associations of animals or species in nature so what is happening if one species become extinct the other ultimately dies off because they are dependent on each other okay for example plant and pollinator they have been co evolved so if one species dies the other will ultimately die another example will explain co extinctions it is a association or you can say a relationship between the fish and parasite if host fish dies all the parasites they will die off so this was about the loss of species okay loss of biodiversity with this i am completing my topic if you have any doubt you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetgo.com